It's the most important tournament I've ever been in so far. Obviously, season two is more important, but this is like the entryway to the most important, so it's obviously. It's the most important tournament I've ever been in so far. Obviously, season two is more important, but this is like the entryway to the most important, so it's obviously. It's everything. Like, the whole t time I've been on CLG has just been for this, so I can be in season two and then just own it up and get number one. Coming into the North American Regional, CLG was expecting to do really well. A great knockout, but it's only on the hot shot right now. They're going to curse him down. He is so low. They're moving on to the Nexus now. CLG looking for it for the quarterfinal. Two to one. Will they get it? Wow. Yes. Counter Logic Gaming moves on to the ball. What an amazing matchup. CLG. Like I said before, Counter Logic Gaming and Dignitas, both long standing teams in the League of Legends scene. Both teams that have understood each other, teams that have faced each other, and teams that have won and lost matches against each other. Freak, this is going to be an all-out bloodbath. They both. Not a boy, boy. Look at that first damage. Skara is godlike. The next is open. Dignitas going to take game one of the semifinals against CLG. Freak, an amazing matchup. Dignitas fans in the crowd. Your team has taken game one. 25% HP. This could be the final push. Dignitas takes game two and puts themselves into the season three championship series. Puts themselves in the season two two million dollar spot and in the North American Regional Finals. Wow, what an amazing, amazing game. Over 76 minutes long, an hour and a quarter. CLG have to recollect themselves though and realize they need to make it in the third place match against Curse. They didn't make that happen. One of those two teams between Curse and CLG are not making it through Dignitas. You see the elation. To lose to Dignitas, it was just like. Eh, I was like, we should have won, man. Like, we should have. The, the solutions were so easy, yet we didn't. We didn't use them. Dignitas, you know, proved that the curse exists, and uh, that was a little depressing for us because we trained so hard. So they faced Curse the next day. There was the moniker going around. Uh, curse was CLG's B team. Saint Vicious was obviously on the team before CLG kicked him, and Elements had been kicked before, and he wanted to get revenge against CLG as well. While normally a third place match in a tournament doesn't really matter that much. Um, this next match matters a lot. Let's talk a little bit about what they're playing for, Jack. A spot in the Season 2 World Championship. If we lose, <laughs> it could mean the end for CLG. Everybody knows that if they don't win this next game, like, things are done. The team's disbanding. Like, their pro careers are over. And all the time that they spent in Korea would be worth nothing. Okay, now that we know what is absolutely on the line, let's get right into our match. Curse versus CLG. If CLG wins any type of small team fight, that base will not last long. Curse is more threat than CLG of losing this game right now. Here comes the record for the massive amount of damage, but Big Bad has that shield, and Dublin takes St. Vicious out, so there's the turnaround. CLG element getting exhausted, and with this, the next CLG is going to push it down. Unfortunately, they come in and they just, they 2-0 crushed Curse. That match was, I think they were pretty one-sided. Uh, we ended up winning and then going into the World Finals. We had to go, you know, buckle down and get ready for Worlds. Worlds was the most important thing for us. That was, you know, our, our prize that we had our eye on. We wanted to win World Finals or we wanted to do it extremely well. Yeah. And the problem that we had was we had this streaming schedule that we had to stick to. Oh. 
going into the season two finals, a lot of CLG fans will remember a big controversy or a big hot topic that was going on around the time, which is why is CLG spending so much time streaming when they should be doing private scrims getting ready for the season two finals? I think we had three main streamers at the time. It was me, Boy Boy, and Hotshot. And like we would actually take shifts to make sure we were we were pulling as many numbers as possible throughout a, a day. What a lot of people were saying at the time is that, oh, CLG is greedy. They're doing this just for the money. They're milking their fan base, blah, blah, blah. The real reason that CLG was streaming so much leading into the Season 2 Finals is because of our contract with Own 3 d CLG was signed to the largest contract that had existed in the history of esports, to my knowledge, and still to my knowledge to this day, probably has ever existed. We were getting huge numbers, so OWN could sustain it. Because we went to Korea, OWN TV was adding issues. CLG management reached out to OWN and was like, we're not hitting numbers, like, is this gonna be a problem? And OWN said, don't worry about it. The guys can focus on winning. I don't want to distract them. Coming back from Korea, OWN starts communicating with us and saying, guys, if we don't start hitting numbers, this contract is going away. They're gonna go bankrupt. So we wanted to secure our future, so we said, hey, let's just fulfill our contract and we won't practice, you know, as hard or as much or secretly as we should. We neglected a lot of practice, actually almost all our practice, to just stream and hit numbers. So I would stream, um, I'd say like 10 p.m. to like 7 a.m. And that put a lot of burden on us, you know, we were streaming on the craziest hours. We had streams going 24-7. I probably put in a combined, I'd say like 400, 500 hours into streaming over the course of those two months, and it was all for nothing because Owned ended up collapsing anyways. And the company wasn't able to sustain, sustain themselves any longer. And as a result, CLG is now owed over six figures. Most of the money that Owned owes us isn't actually owned to the company, it's streaming revenue, owed to the players. So they owe me like close to 20 grand. Uh, pretty salty about that. When you have this sort of situation where somebody has now missed out on four months of their highest earning potential that they'll maybe ever come across in their lives, that's an opportunity they're never going to get back. And it was the most important two months of like my career where I could have, we could have just rose up. We could have been the ones to like Show the world, you know. And going up against IG is one of the oldest League of Legends professional teams in the world. They spent the last year in Korea and they are looking to prove that their training and all their competition has played off. Playing as the red team from North America, it's Counter Logic Gaming. Coming off their earlier match with the Chinese team at Victus, Counter Logic Gaming now tests their skill against Europe as the red team. Let's give it up for CLGNA. Still on that turn. He's trying to take the base out. Continue. He's trying to take the Nexus turn. Now and there, this is the taunt on him. He does manage to get one Nexus turn. Meanwhile, SK Gaming are taking the Nexus turn off the road. This is 
expected to become a base play. Boy, boy, get it in there. Oriana's just about to spawn. They're going to continue all the pressure. The Nexus 3 did not go down. And SK Gaming forced to back away from this one. So CLG picking up a base turret on that one. Now we see Boy, boy teleporting. They're going into the base. CLG are pushing into the base. Boy, boy comes the final Nexus 3. They're going to try and catch up towards Aranea. And they got the damage. Everyone boy, boy, back in. The second set of boss from this big battle. The Oriana ultimate. The Nexus is exposed. The double is going to take the Nexus down. No, Kevin gets in there, absolutely obliterates it, but boy boy turns it back, and he's won it, I do not believe the game, what an absolute epic finish to a fantastic Against those to figure out what they're going to do. Exactly, CLG's been off in the background trying to research their opponents and trying to build their own identity here. You've seen them run two different, com two completely different setups here, different summoners, different strategies. Do they have a third? Is it unknown, or will it be another teleport promote that Frost has seen before? If it's something unknown, they've got to make some very fast adjustments mid-game, mid-champion oh, select. Just on the outside, but again, aggression top lane. Shy, not even looking behind his shoulder. Oh, no, Hotshot gets out. The hype is there. They bring it back and forth. Oh! It's going to be turret takedowns on the Nexus now for Azubu Frost. They look to go 3-0 here on the first day of the championship game. A very nice wild growth keeps them off, but the Nexus is the only thing standing in the way after this one turret. They're going to have that open, forcing CLG back to their fountain. Azubu Frost goes 3-0 in the group stage, taking out CLG in their game. as hard as they possibly can for SK because they hold their hope alive. With Invictus being 1-1 one and, one and SK being 0-2, if SK wins this next match, we've got a three-way tie for second. After World Finals, you know, everybody wanted to kind of like figure out why we lost, why we performed so bad, and all the things that happened. And a lot of blame was put on Gigi for not performing well, and a lot of blame was put on Joey for doing very poor for the whole entirety of our Korea trip and not performing that well at uh, World Finals. I'm not sure up so much time right now. Holy oh, shit. That was really super me. I probably should have gone straight to it. I think I just wasted some time there. Fuck, I just hurt my bad toe. That was really bad. Wasting time. The team had to make a decision on how to move forward. I honestly believe that it was a team issue that was holding us back. You know, it, it, it went deeper than just this guy sucks. It was more like our communication, the way we practiced, the way we treated each other. All those things really contributed to why we didn't perform at our optimal level.
No, bad load. Bad load. I lost so much time because of that. What the fuck? That could have been it. <gasps> that was that was like the fastest load I've gone on this in forever. There's still a chance. I was against the majority of the team on this issue. Uh, the team believed that it was just you know a roster, a roster problem, and uh, so we ended up removing Boy Boy from the team, and then eventually removing Big Fat Gigi from the team. When season three championships rolls around. The first place winner, the guy who's the fucking on stage, the best team in the world. Do I imagine Boy Boy GG and Hacha walking out on stage and accepting a million dollars? Fuck no. Hell no. I ex these these like master Russians and these like incredibly trained Koreans. Yeah, but us, just just knowing our personality through this documentary, there's no fucking way we could do it. Just because we're too laid back and too casual, like we don't we don't do anything to deserve it. Even right now, I can look at this Korean team and I'm like, you know, these, indi these individual players are not very good by themselves, but they just have such good... They just One have bad the same, load you know, and you lose so an much, entire so run they, in this game. The same, they're on the same stupid. page and that, like, that is really what matters, you know? But yeah, for two months, all we did was stream and then we played at Worlds with essentially zero practice and we just, we were just terrible. All we did was play solo queue, you know? Like, we're just, we did, we ended up just, all of our practice in Korea just, Vanished. It's really important to keep your fan base, but it was Shit, so much I'm more important to like that's another second gone. And I was like, a really big thing when I we think just I lost there. I was like, I think I just threw smashed. it. And North America just looks like the weakest scene now. But I think season the two is the most fun I've ever had. The chokes. I'm motivated enough for myself to keep playing. If my teammates start slacking, I won't be like giving them some pep talk, you know, doing something out of the ordinary because if I pour my heart and soul into the team, you know, can't even get first in North America. So what do I do? I just have to give up, right? That's what I, that's how I think at least. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> having just picked up Blink and having also picked up Aphromoo, the team thought they were going to be even stronger than they were before. So going okay, he's going to scream season, and hit me when he grabs like, me, that's time. Team to watch out for. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. It fucking happened. It actually happened. I didn't think that was ever gonna happen again. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. I nearly threw that too. I nearly choked too. Like, I did bad at lots of points. There should be way more time saved. Holy shit. Whew. That was intense. It had better have been recording. Holy shit. If it was not recording, I'm going to cry. Well, I'm going to keep credits. I'm probably going to have to edit audio out because that's the like CLG documentary audio. Whoops. That's probably not something I can have.
Where's my audio off for this game though? Oh. It's still on. That's not in speakers. But damn. Damn, son. Woo. I'm actually so hyped right now. Like, holy shit. I can't believe. I haven't PB'd this game since January 31st. That was when the 1720 was obtained. January. It's almost been a year since I last got a PB in this game. I don't run it often, though. Oh my god. This is the most hype run of the century right here. This is the most hype run of the century. Shit. I'm probably going to need the audio takeout though, cause of... God damn. Watch a documentary in the background. Not the smartest thing, but I wanted to watch it. Mm. That's how we roll, though. The worst part is I can't hear the bird call. That's the problem when the sound's off. You can't hear when the bird calls, so you're just waiting for it to grab you. You don't know when it's gonna come because you don't get like the five second warning, so it's like, yeah, is it coming? Is it coming? Is it coming? Please come. 1717.7 God that flashing is awful Anyways Let's exit That is it That has been Shelter any percent The new world record Get hype And thanks for stopping by